In this how-to training video, we will walk through the process of designing an operator-controlled camera system. Before we get into the design process, let's look at what constitutes an operator-controlled system and what types of applications that might require this equipment configuration. An operator-controlled system is comprised of PTZ cameras, a video switcher, camera joystick controller, and a camera preset recall system. In addition, there are typically the other video sources, such as document cameras, video playback equipment, computers, and many more options for additional sources. Vadios Production View HDMV and HDSDIMV products have combined the switcher, joystick, preset camera controller, and a touchscreen multi-viewer all into one integrated solution. The Production View multi-viewers can accept a variety of inputs, depending on which model you choose. The HDSDI version has five ports for SD and HDSDI, all with resolutions up to 1080p. The HD version has five analog inputs that will accept SD, HD component, and RGBHV signals for resolutions up to 1080p. The sixth input on both systems has a DVI-I input capable of either analog or digital signals, including HD component, RGBHV, DVI-D, or HDMI. The outputs available on the ProductionView HD are analog SD or HD component and a DVI-D output. The ProductionView HD SDI outputs are SD or HD SDI and HDMI. There are many different situations where an operator controlled system would be a great solution. We will focus on a few of the more popular options including government applications such as a city council chamber or courtroom, corporate facilities such as a training room or an auditorium, college or university lecture halls, and houses of worship. The first step in the process is to consider what camera shots will be needed. In most applications, there is a presentation area where a person or group will be talking to an audience. In this type of installation, at least one camera should be positioned on the opposite wall of where the presenters will be facing. This camera will allow for zooming in on the presenter that is speaking to the audience. Having a secondary camera in this same location allows the operator to switch to a wide shot when the other camera is moving from one presenter to another or as a presenter is moving to a different location within the presentation area. Another option would be to have three cameras in one room, one centered in the back with two additional cameras on the left and right approximately 30 to 45 degrees to allow for a variety of camera angles. Other camera shots should also be considered, such as a camera for capturing the audience. Keep in mind that other options available include specialty cameras such as a document or recessed camera that may be retracted into the ceiling or installed in domes. Once the camera locations have been determined, the next step is to measure the distance from the camera locations to the main locations the cameras are trying to capture. This distance will allow the user to determine what type of camera will be best suited by using the Vadio PTZ image size calculator, available on the Vadio website at www.vadio.com slash techcenter. All cameras offered by Vadio are on the spreadsheet, which allows the user to calculate the size of the image that will be captured when the camera is zoomed in or zoomed out. When selecting the cameras, you will select the type based on the environment they will be used in. The main items to consider would be, determine if the cameras will be used in an image magnification projector application. If this is the case, then high-definition cameras are better suited in order to achieve a detailed image on the large screen. What is the best quality image that the viewer is going to want or need? For example, if streaming video is the best quality, then standard definition video will probably do the job. However, if there will also be a need for a high-resolution archive copy of the same streamed content, then HD cameras will be a better choice. Another consideration to take into account would be light availability. If the room is dark and shadowy, a camera with a minimum illumination of 4 lux or less may be required. Nevertheless, testing and measuring under the proposed lighting is the best way to decide what camera is the ideal choice. Will you be following the presenter with a joystick or using camera presets? If you plan for a lot of tighter shots, make sure that the PTZ camera uses servo or micro stepper motors. If you plan on using presets, PTZ cameras with direct drive motors will be more than sufficient. Does the application require a camera operator using a camera mounted on a tripod for following the presenter? If so, place the robotic cameras at other locations where a camera operator is not needed. 
What other sources will be required as part of the camera control system? Main items to consider include computer sources such as PowerPoint or website content, video playback such as DVD players or VCRs, stationary cameras such as document cameras or other video feeds. When controlling PTZ cameras, you need to determine if the application has a multi-person control room or a one-person control room. If a single person will be operating the equipment, then a camera controller with an integrated video switcher, such as ProductionView HDMV with teletouch monitors, is a great option. If there are multiple people operating the equipment in the control room area, then a standalone camera controller, such as the Precision Camera Controller, is the best option. This allows one person to focus on all the cameras and camera shots, while the director can switch the video sources and perform other tasks. Now that we have covered the main points to consider when designing an operator-controlled camera system, let's do a recap to visit the main points. Research the different Vadio operator-controlled systems to determine which one offers the features you need for your application, what camera shots are needed in your room configuration and how many cameras are needed, determine the optical zoom needs for each camera location using the Vadio PTZ image size calculator, select the type of camera you will need based on the environment of your application, and will you need any other additional sources. Now you have the ability to design and understand what is needed for a successful installation for an operator-controlled camera system. Find out more about Vadio's line of video switchers, joystick controllers, PTZ cameras, and other products, go to www.vadio.com or contact our sales department.